Okay then, so uh, today I'm just going to quickly go through uh, a couple of domes. Um, we So I'm not going to go through the tools, what I'll do is I'll show you, I'll keep repeating things so it will start to sink in. First thing I do when I fire Fusion 360 up is view the origins. If you remember from last time, middle button allows you to pan across, shift allows you to rotate. I just keep my finger on the shift button so that I can actually design and the wheel lets you zoom in and out okay the next thing i always do is right click on document settings and do not capture design history because it confuses things it still works it allows you to undo uh, but it does some weird things when it's capturing design history um so i'm going to create three domes um and what i'll do is in three different techniques to show you we're going to end up on the r4 dome which is a little bit more complicated so Let's do some of the basics. So the easiest one or the most simple one is probably the R2 dome. I'm going to base this on a solid sphere. It's not actually, I think as everybody knows, it's not quite a solid sphere. It's a bullet shape, but we'll do this for simplicity. So highlight once you've selected sphere. So under create, we're creating a new body. Previously, we've done sketches and we've extruded. This time, we're just going to go straight in and create a solid object sphere. Select a plane, so we'll, put, we'll select that Z plane, choose where I want to put it, and select a size. So we're going to have a 40 mil dome. Okay. Now, press the shift key and, and roll around. You can see that the Z plane is exactly in the middle of that, which is brilliant because we can use the Z plane to chop this in half. The way we chop things up is we click modify, as we did do last time split body highlight the the uh, the um, sphere and the splitting tool is that lower plane and click OK so now we've got two parts of a dome as we mentioned in the browser under bodies you've now got two bodies that body the top one and the bottom one we're going to highlight the bottom one and we're simply going to delete it so there you go, there's our basic R2 dome. The final thing we're going to do with domes is hollow it out so that it's hollow, I guess, which is modifying an object and we use the shell command. And the shell removes materials from part interiors. So this is kind of how it work. Click on that and then you select the thickness of the wall, which I'm going to select one mil for this one. Uh, click OK and now I have a hollow R2D2 dome or styled dome um, one mil thick on full scale ones I would typically do them at uh, around about six mil so if I click the little home button it zooms into there to the full size so that's the first one the second one we're going to do is recreate what we did last time which is the R5D4 so to do that we're going to create a circle first of all on the same plane if you remember now we've got when we're doing circles it zooms into the plane so that you can see that from the top click lift the mouse up type 40 and tab to set the diameter click OK and now we have the dome the next thing I want to do is just create a line because I'm going to put a new plane on this which will let me draw the profile so if you remember center of the dome pull it out and at 180 degrees there's a line and I'll hit stop sketch okay that allows me to create a dome okay sorry it allows me to create a plane so construct plane at an angle again we did this we did this last time we now want to select a line and lo and behold it gives us something that we can then draw the profile of that dome on okay now what's interesting with this if we go into sketch and line so we're going to start drawing that profile and we click on that plane whereas before it used to snap to the edge of objects and to the center it doesn't do because it's a sketch it, it tends to snap to solid objects a lot better so if I stop sketch, what happens in those situations? I tend to try to think I'll just create a solid object. So highlight that circular sketch that I've done, right click, press pull, 
and just pull it down a couple of mil, it doesn't matter what it is. Click OK and now I've got a solid object. The other thing that I mentioned last time that Fusion always does is when you create an object you pull from uh, pull from a sketch, it hides a sketch because it's really kind like that. So you have to go back into sketches and reignite the light bulb which lo and behold it now creates it so I can see it. Okay. It also very kindly has hidden that plane that we created so you don't have to recreate the plane you just click on the little bulb again and it's visible and back now this time when we go into sketch line and we select that plane you'll see it will snap to the object because it's a physical object not a sketch just a bit oddity on fusion so I'm going to click that I'm going to click up a little bit to make a ring I'm going to go in for the funny angles that we have with R5 um, I'm going to give it its funny little angle in like that and then what I'm going to do is try and find the center of this circle it doesn't know where it is so I have to train fusion if you remember you just kind of hit that lift it up you see the dotted line and now it knows where the center is and I can choose the angle on that which I'll add about like that and then finally I want to close the loop which means I draw the line back down here and then I do a final line from that to that one and I know it's closed because it goes a kind of a pinky colour and I'm going to click stop sketch so that's our profile and then if you remember from last time what we do is we uh, we're now going to create the actual dome so we click on create uh, we click on revolve now at this stage we've got some options I mean I've I think what I would typically do then is just delete that body that we created that was there just purely to get a snap. Uh, highlight that, click create, click revolve, click axis and then select that center axis point and it automatically revolves at 360 degrees. There's a new body, click OK and there you go. There's our, our very oddly shaped kind of dome. So that's the two domes that we saw last time. Um, as I said to you previously I tend to just delete the sketches as I tidy up because I work in objects uh, not best practice but that's a speedy way of doing things um, and I'm going to do exactly the same as what I did with this one is I'm going to hollow it out ready for printing so modify shell select the bottom of it wherever you want to start that ho hollow out and select the wall thickness of 1mm click OK and now I have a hollow dome there you go so the dome we're going to do now is going to be the uh, basic way that we construct the R4 dome the, the R4 dome is one that I've struggled with so let me just label these R2 R5 and we'll start on creating the R4 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the same as we did previously which is a circle on that lower plane and we'll put the R4 dome around here 40 millimeters dink and click stop sketch so, so that's our basis okay so if we look at the R4 dome we can see that it's a circle at the bottom and it's a hexagonal at the top as you can see on a number of these here so we now need to define where that top is so this one's got quite a few sketches to actually construct this so I'm going to click construct I want to do an offset plane and I'm going to offset from that circle okay and I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to look at the size of the other domes that we've got and say it's probably going to be about that big because it's a big one just making this up that now gives us a plane where we can create the hexagonal or polygon and so I'm going to select polygon and I always struggle with this you know polygon it always flips into sketch for some reason there you go right um, and I'm going to select that top plane okay select the center and I can choose how big a polygon it's going to be I want one that's probably about that big there. So 
so small this really probably let's go for something like that okay so now that and hit stop sketch so what we've got now is got a circle at the bottom polygon at the top now what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct this out of a load of different parts and I'll show you how we kind of do this um, one of the hardest one, one of the functions that you will start to use in create we've covered a couple of these but one that we haven't really covered is loft and what loft does it create a it says there a transitional shape between two or more sketches profiles or plane interfaces and let me just show you what loft does in this case so we highlight the bottom one we highlight the top one and it will create a object between the two now that isn't what that isn't a proper r4 dome but it kind of looks like one so we can't really use a loft in this case so let me cancel that what we actually need is I actually need triangles uh, in on six sides and then i need kind of circular bits on the other six side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use loft so i'm going to create a loft i'm going to create a little bit of a different loft so i click that and I'm going to just loft that single point now that gives me that little bit of a circular edge against that single point I'll need to do this six times so I'm going to create that once there we go now what I'm going to do then is the sketches as always have disappeared so I'm going to bring the sketches back and we'll look at it from the top and I want to create six of those so I'm going to highlight the body I'm going to copy it now I can right click copy right click and paste so now I've got another one of those it's created a second body which you can see there body six um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it so it's then at this point these are 30 degree rotations the first thing I need to do is move the axis that I'm going to rotate it to in the center because otherwise I'll get this kind of effect which is not a lot of use okay. so if you remember from last time we click set pivot we move it to somewhere in the center it snaps we click OK and that enables us then to spin it round to that next point which is at 60 degrees and then I'm going to click OK so now I've got two of those okay so I'm going to repeat that again so I can do that individually what I'm actually going to do is press the shift key and highlight two of them at the same time so that one and that one I'm going to right click move I'm going to go across the top actually I'm going to cancel that no what I apologize what I should have click with that body and that body right click copy right click paste so this is now two more that i've created and i now just need to set this pivot again in the center and click tick to fix it and then i can rotate it 60 and i'm going to rotate it 90 what oh, sorry 120 next one along 120 click ok and now I've created one, two, three, four of those points. So I just need two more. So same thing again. Highlight body six and body seven. Sorry, eight and seven. Control C and Control V, or copy and paste, however you want to actually do it. Look at it from the top. Select the pivot point to be the center. Click tick and rotate it again another sixty degrees. And luckily it will snap. One, oh sorry 120 degrees it will snap into that position click OK so now I have the curved parts of the dome so that is actually if you look on here that is six bodies so I can hide these one two three four five six not that you would ever hide bodies that would be really wrong um, so there you go six bodies and for simplicity, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one body out of those six. So modify, combine, um, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Click OK. 
and now that gives me the curved part of the R5 dome so the R4 dome so if you wanted the R4 dome to be like an inflatable um, king's crown you could finish at that point but we don't we want it to look a little bit more like this so the next piece is to add these flat areas in we're going to sketch this and then we're going to extrude flat areas and I'll show you how we're going to sketch it we need to create a plane that basically connects this point this point and this point together okay so the way we do that as we know is construct and we've got all these planes and one of these planes is connect through three points so I'm going to click on that I'm going to select that point I'm going to select that point I'm going to try and select that point and now I've got a plane that goes exactly across those three points so I'm going to click OK then I'm going to now create a line so line select that plane and that will let me that drawing to there that drawing to there from there to that bottom one and from that one and what I've created now is so it's gone a little bit pink is a sketch that I can select and that effectively is the flat bit once we've got the flat bit we right click on there we hit press pull and I'm going to pull that back into that body now by default when I do that it actually starts to cut through the body so you can see we get some really weird kind of geometry whatever it is some weird kind of cuts that go through that I'm going to click not cut I just want a new body and click okay so now you can see that is beautifully fits in just as that nice flat piece okay but actually what I want is I want six of those flat pieces and I want them rotated at 60 degrees so same exactly what we did before copy paste look at it from the top Set the pivot to the center, tick it to fix it, and then move it around so it locks into the next one at 60 degrees. Enter. Okay, select those two because I'm lazy. Right click, copy, right click, paste. Uh, set the pivot in the center, click, tick and rotate it again this time 120 degrees because we're moving two of them okay and then finally take the last two right click copy right click paste set the center take it to fix it and then spin it round just 120 degrees so it's locked into there click OK and now what we've got is we've got the very basic beginnings of the R4 dome there's a couple of things that don't work with this and if I hide the sketches you'll see it better the top is caved in as you can see and at the bottom we've got the extrusions sticking out and this is not an issue this is, tends to be more how, how I work so Firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge all these together. So modify, combine as always, um, and I want that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and I think I'll just link it to the big piece as well, and click OK. So now I've got a single body, which is that, which looks very, very messy, but it's starting to look like the correct shape of the dome. So I'm going to bring the sketches back in. And what I'm first thing I'm going to do is I want to create a flat top. Now I've already got a sketch in there and I can highlight that. So guess what we're going to do? Right click, we're going to pull. I'm going to pull that in. By default, it cuts through the object. So if I did it like that, we'd end up with a big hole all the way through it, which you probably don't want. Um, so I'm just going to pull it down to about the middle of there. And I'm just going to put it as a join this time because that, that will then join with the rest of the solid body. Click OK. And now what I've got is a flat top that I want. So that's your flat top. The final thing I need to do is get rid of all of this mess at the bottom. And the way I do that 
again as you can imagine it's a modify split body this is all one body so I'm going to highlight it but the splitting tool is I'm actually going to use this bottom plane as a splitting tool and as you can see what it does then is it splits itself based on that based on that one plane so I'll click OK and now what you can't see but what it's done is it's created all these bottom bits here as individual bodies so if I start to hide these you'll see it starts to tidy the dough up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of those hidden ones hit the delete key and there you have your R4 basic dough the final thing that we'll do to this well final two things is we'll delete the sketches because we tidy ourselves up afterwards again not best practice just the way I work um, and then I want to hollow it out like these which is modify shell highlight the bottom select the thickness one mil fingers crossed click OK when I say fingers crossed is sometimes if it's really complex fusion kind of gets a little bit confused with that so it took a little bit longer there but what it's actually given me now is a rather nicely hollowed out shell for our dome so that's giving you three different techniques and it shows you how we've created some of the basic frames for the domes um, what we'll do next time is we will create a uh, four dome in the correct dimensions full scale and then I'll show you how we start to add detail and how we start to slice it up but hopefully that started to get you a little bit more familiar with the general use of fusion bear in mind that the last two things we've all we've really used is model we've just used uh, circles rectangles lines polygons we haven't used a lot of these draw draw pieces um, under create we've extruded we've revolved we've used a couple of tools off here and modify we've used a couple of tools on here so we've not extended to look at the whole feature set of fusion but that's the best way to learn is just try a few tools and then start to work out what other tools actually start to do um, and we'll continue to do that so I'll just clean them planes up as well so I'll just delete those so um, hopefully that's useful I will share and publish these three domes so that you can see how these have been built um, and then next time we'll get cracking with the R4 dome full scale and I'll start to show you how we prepare it for printing etc but all these three theoretically now you could print small domes uh, to your heart's content um, in a single piece and the chances are with these most of the bridging and most of the support would not be needed so you could probably print these as one what one pieces but it gives you a bit of a feel for the uh, for the interface so quick recap on keys middle button mouse pans shift rotates hopefully that's starting to get natural now for you uh, your bodies are shown in your browser window and this is kind of where you select stuff sketches we know what sketches do they perform pretty much the basis of everything we do create creates new objects modify changes our existing objects and construct allows us to throw planes in different locations and different spaces so it starts to build up some of the things that we can do in fusion 360 okay so what i'll do is i'll save this so you can and share it i'll also stick the video up so uh, well yeah, you'll be watching the video at that point so you'll know it's already been stuck up and next time we'll dig into the r4 we'll start to really create an r4 um thanks hopefully it was useful and um, happy designing happy printing um, and i will speak to you next time